Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a quick demonstration on how to add and delete users from a Perforce system. So to do that let's just come here to the start menu and search for p4admin and we're going to launch p4admin instead of p4v because we would like to do some administrative tasks. So what you're going to do here is obviously just plug in the IP address of your server and the port number and then we are going to need to log in as a user that has administrative privileges. So that is this account right here and go ahead and hit OK. You may or may not need to enter your password depending on the um, timing of the system. So in this case, I logged in recently, so it didn't need my password here, but uh, you may have to. So I'll go ahead and close this little dialog that popped up. And here's the administrative interface yours might look a little bit different sometimes i've noticed that the connection isn't open automatically so let me go and close this just to show you what it might look like for you when you start p4 admin so it might look completely blank like this in order to establish a connection to the server all you need to do is come up here to connections and hit open connection and then again put in the information as we discussed earlier and again put in your password if, if prompted so here we are, here's the administrative uh, interface. So on the home tab, we can quickly see that uh, a lot of interesting information is set up here and presented to the user. So for example, right over here, we see that this license has 100 users, but we don't have any left. So that's exactly what we need to do is we need to delete an old user and then add a new one. Let's see what else is interesting on this administrative interface. You can see things like disk space usage, how much you're using, and look, you can actually see inactive users um, people that are obviously not developing any longer. So that's exactly what we want to do right now is we want to find which one of these we can delete so we can add a new user to the system. So to do that, come up here to the Users and Groups tab. And then what you can do is you can sort this by email or name or what have you. I'm going to sort this by date last accessed. So we can see that some of these people, for example, this guy right here has not used this in, you know, almost a year so let's go ahead and delete him because he's clearly inactive so if I right click on that user and just go ahead and select delete user it will also delete if they have any workspaces created uh, that will also be deleted at this time which is exactly what you'd like to have happen so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit delete user and there you go they're gone so if we come back to the home tab you should see that yep looky here there's one license remaining so we're free to add a uh, user here so again, to add a user, let's come back over here to users and groups and I'll right click anywhere and I'm going to create right click and say new user. So uh, what you can do right now is you can just add appropriate information. So again, the user is going to be their username, not their full name. So I don't know, maybe how about a uh, Drogon or something like that. Uh, you can put in their email here, uh, call Drogo at uh, Westeros.com. Um, full name of call Drogo and then you can put in whatever password you like here So one thing that's interesting is the password here doesn't seem to need to uh, conform to any password Rules initially so for example, I can pick something very small like uh, how about dog <laughs> and dog so then ahead pick any other appropriate settings here and go ahead and click OK and there we go you are have now created a new user of Drogon. All right, so what you may want to also do is once you've created the account, you may want to call the user over to your station or to wherever you have P4 admin and allow them to change their password. So to do that, again, just log in like normal, then come over to the user that you're interested in, right click on them and just go ahead and say change password. So now here, you will need to conform to uh, appropriate rules. So for example, they need to be eight characters long, contain upper and lowercase letters, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, you know, dog or cat, you know, for example, is not going to work now. We're going to get uh, errors. So make sure that they pick something that conforms and they should be able to change their password here. Okay, so that's it. This is a very simple video. I just wanted to show how to remove and add users to a Perforce system. If you're interested in looking at how to maybe add depots, why don't you check out our next video because that's what we're going to do next. So uh, with that being said, I think it's a good spot to leave it. I hope to catch you at one of these future videos. Talk to you later. Bye.